Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well, we've done mono green aggro. We did mono white aggro. I gotta bring you mono red aggro, especially when I'm sitting at a 71% win rate on the ladder. Yes. But before I get into that, I want to remind you, when we hit 500 subscribers, we're going to be doing all kinds of giveaways, including a box. So check the description down below to find out what I'm talking about, rate, review, and smash that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for being a member of the Brew Crew. Would you also please check down below for our Discord, our Twitter, and share this on social media. So for you today, we have a 2022 Mono Red Goblins. And like I said, this deck is just as fast as Mono Green, if not a little quicker, and can hold up with it. Just as fast as Mono White can hold up with it. Too fast for Is It Dragons, too fast for Control. It's a blast to play. So first we have our one drops. We have four Fireblade Chargers, four Goblin Javelineers, and three 10 Street Cadets. Now only three of this because we want a healthy amount of one drops, but this one is actually a little bit better in my opinion late game when you have like a, a Hobgoblin Trash Master or a, a Hobgoblin Bandit Lord because then your 1-1 one, one, or I should say your 2-2 two, two dies and gives you another 2-2. Two, two. But I like to throw one of these first because the Fireblade Charger creates a situation where they only want to block with their 1-1 one, one if they have no other creatures on the board. Or if they have uh, two creatures on the board and they both have a one defense, they don't want to block. They're going to lose too many creatures. And then Goblin Javelinier, I mean, don't get me started on poor Mono White. I mean, they have, what, um, uh, Elite Spellbinder dies to this. The uh, Warhound dies immediately to this. They just, before they, they can block, but it's not going to kill our Javelinier. So it just causes a really odd gameplay. So keep that in mind when you go to play them. If your turn two is going to be one of these and your turn one is also one of these, throw the Fireblade Charger first, let it start doing its work, because you can throw the Hob or the, because you can throw the Goblin Javelin near turn two, and it's got the haste. Now, our turn two plays, and they're not always turn two plays, but there are two drops, are four Battlecry Goblins and four Hobgoblin Captains. Now, if my opponent's going to have a whole bunch of removal on turn two, I'd rather keep throwing one drops and save this for turn three or four, but it is good to throw on turn two if you think that they're more of a creature deck or something like that, because you're going to hit that pack tactics quick. And then I usually throw Battlecry Goblin when I have at least four mana on the board or if I think I'm finally safe and, and my opponent's out of all their removals because this is very important for the deck. It's one of the best cards. If you top deck it late game, you're probably going to win. It's a phenomenal card. Keep in mind, and this is important, that if you have to power up to give this haste or power up to get the pack tactics online, when you get your 1-1 one, one Goblin token, it's not going to have the plus one plus oh because the goblins you control get plus one plus oh and gain haste on of turn when it triggers it, it it doesn't like stay on the board you know what i mean that ability that token has to be out there i have learned that the hard way i had my opponent at lethal because i did the math wrong and instead of going to you know zero they went to one swung back and won the game so do remember that then our three drops we have four relic robbers Drop this if they're tapped out. Drop this anytime you think it's safe to get in. And that, that one damage extra per turn they are taking really starts to add up. That is super important. You see a pair of goblins. We have three copies of this one. This card is absolutely bonkers. If you're going to throw the 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens, make sure you do it at end of their turn. It's absolutely like blows people out of the water if they're not expecting it. You go turn three, end of their turn. You see a pair of goblins into a turn four hobgoblin bandit or trash master and you've got yourself probably at least three if not four goblins on the board that can attack that turn and they're all big enough to probably close out the game then we have four hobgoblin bandit lords because it's the best lord in um standard at the moment the trash master is too expensive in my opinion gives all your other goblins plus one plus one and then for one red and one colorless hobgoblin bandit lord deals damage equal to the number of goblins that entered the battlefield under your control this turn to any target so i if your opponent can block this don't attack it and kill it don't attack with it you definitely don't want to do that it probably means that you, you threw it out the turn before so it can um use its ability it doesn't have summoning sickness anymore if you were able to throw even one or two goblins use its ability to at least dome them to the face keeping all your creatures pumped up plus one plus one or i mean i, I love when they throw a spell binder on me then i throw one of my like fire blade goblin charge or any of my one ones then I tap this, I poke their elite spellbinder, I come in with the rest of the gang that all has plus one, plus one. Super strong card. We have two goblin trash masters in the deck. One, because it's a lord, it gives all your goblins plus one, plus one. But kind of just for that destroy target artifact, it can kind of come into 
play here and there and then our removal package because we're playing all snow you got to have some frostbite so we have three of those and only three because you, you want to have uh, a, a more than two thundering rebukes you want to have at least three because that being able to do four damage to target creature or planeswalker is big especially when green can go turn three four four old grow troll you got to be able to get through that you've got um dragons coming at you in the air that have four defenses all kinds of stuff that you really need this card for so we have three and three for our removal package and then to round it out we have 19 snow covered mountains and we have three faceless havens we don't want four in there at four if you if you just start hitting too many faceless havens it's going to be bad for you if you hit a second faceless haven and it's your fourth or fifth land you're good but if you hit a, a snow covered mountain and two faceless havens which we all know can happen you're kind of dead in the water because we're only running 22 lands if you get flooded you're gonna lose because this deck can't afford to not have the resources because you're gonna lose them and so we have a low land count we don't want too many faceless havens so that's pretty much the ins and out of the deck i really hope you enjoy it please leave us a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this deck or if there's any decks you want to see and without further ado let's go ahead now and get into the gameplay demi knots demi cots there's no and after that k demi cots let's go when it goes first we have a javelin here into a hobgoblin cap then we've got a relic robber pair of goblins thunderous be two lands we're drawing i mean we got to turn one turn two we got to turn three if we hit land we've got removal there's the land they are not snowy so the odds of them having a removal right now they're probably is it yeah yeah there it is is it boom expressive iteration which is a weird play on turn two in my opinion because you have to put the land in your hand and lose something so that's just gone um so I think the captain, Hobgoblin captain, is my best bet here. They're going to use removal next turn, probably with the uh, Prismari command and just kill the Hobgoblin. They're already looking at it. So Hobgoblin's probably gone, but we get in with the Relic Robber. We have the Thundering Rebuke. Okay, there's the Prism. I mean, did I call that? So next turn, they can go ahead and get their, their Dragon out, most likely. Um, I feel like I want the Relic Robber in as much as i would like to have gone with one of these next turn if we have to we can kill a dragon and throw one of these if we had to land this and two of these we can hold up a turn and do you see a pair of I mean, we have options land coming into play tap so they're not throwing anything unless it's the prismari dragon it's not gold span oh looks like they're gonna kill a creature how do they oh destroyed an artifact nice taskmaster eh I feel like I'm going to flood the board this turn with these little ones. That way, next turn, I can see a pair of goblins and either bring out uh, two one ones, And then when we hit a land, we have this. Or um, I can use this to pump the field, which I don't think I need to. There's the dragon. They're probably just going to swing. Yeah. I, I really need to hit a land off the top. If they have a counter spell, we're in trouble no matter what. Oh, they're just going to kill something now. Okay. We'll do it to them land off the top is the best thing we can have i need this trash master down yes get in and end the turn and depending on what they do i mean we could kill the dragon if they don't have a counter spell we have parrot goblins what is this just four damage okay i mean it's just four is plenty The right card off the top is great. I don't know if they have the counter spell, but they might. We're down to 12. What do we get off the top? Another gold span, eh? Land. So let's go ahead and kill that. They get a treasure. Resolves. Do you have a counter spell in your hand? Is your last card a counter spell? Resolves, you kill it. I mean, you didn't need to do four. It was going to kill it anyways, but... So we'll go ahead and get in for one. And end the turn. I got to do a pair of go... Yeah, well, there's land. Pass. This is our... So, we got to throw this. And we got to throw this. And we got to get in. And then, let's see. This takes... If it would let me hover, 
five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, they can't do it this turn. We literally need... Oh, that's not the one. No attacks, end the turn. If that would have been the other goblin that creates, uh, that pumps. So they're, hopefully they activate their land and come in. There we go. That's gonna be the game. So they block this and this and they take two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, I can't do it. They cannot do it. That's game. Ah, good game. Let's go. Woo. Trip line. That's a good name. I like it. Let's see if we can uh, avoid that trip line. They go first, and we have one land in hand, and we're on the draw with a great hand. As long as I hit a land, I I'm going greedy as they come. There we go. Let's start off with the... Fireblade. It always causes for weird interaction if they have a kill spell. That's fine. At least we get to uh, hit them for one. Okay, Frostbite on a Fireblade Charger. That's probably good for us. So next turn, I think I go Javelin Ear and Street Cadet. Ten Street Cadet. Checking for traps. Well, they can only get one of our Battlecry Goblins, so... Pretty much a pseudo removal. If they take the javelin or ten street cadet, I guess we'll go. I mean, they really are they writing it down? It's gonna let you see it, buddy. <laughs> Battlecry goblin is probably your best bet. So I was gonna throw these out next turn, but they're playing a heavy discard deck. I just don't know if they're checking for traps or if they're. If I don't know, maybe we want to get less cards out of our hand. Wow, why, why? Okay. So let's throw this, and I feel like they have removal, so let's go ahead and lead off with 3-1. That way, we don't lose our battle cries unless they, of course, rip our hand to pieces. But I think they're going to be all removal. Passing the turn. Ooh, land is killer. So let's lead with you. And let's get in. They can't help but use their mana first. That's why I don't throw. There we go. There we go. We know they got it. Now let's get in. Now we throw this battle cry goblin. We still have this. They don't know about this little guy. This little guy right here. Okay, battle cry goblin's probably gone. I mean, they've got all the, all the removal over here. No. Okay. Land. Ooh, land would have been amazing. Um. They don't have removal, it doesn't feel like. So that might not have been a great play with the Thunder Rebuke. I might have wanted to save that for a bigger creature. But they missed a land drop as we did. So they're not hitting four. If they, there's their four. So now we're in trouble. Berkey, okay. Oh, a land is good. So I can throw this. Throw this. Now if we lose one of these, we're okay with that. Because we have another one if they want to really take that trade. And if they block the Javelinier, they also lose out. So they lose their Berkey. We hit them for a ton. And then we're just going to do that again. And they don't even know it. They just don't even know it. Frostbite. The battle cry. That's cool. They, they top deck that. There comes a Magda. Oh, it's a Relic Robber. We'll throw that next turn if need be. Because we're going to throw this down. We're going to activate that. And I think that's a game. Yeah, two, four, six, seven. That's we did. Unless they have a one black removal. Which I don't think you can. Good game. Woo! Let's go! <sighs> Obi Wayne. Obi Wan. Let's do this. Opponent goes first. Jeez, it has happened a lot today. We have got to mulligan this. Too many three drops. Eh, this is a one, two, three, so I'll keep it. And we got to luck into a land because I need all of these. We don't want to flood out because I keep lands. So we will start off with the 10th Street because it does not have haste. 
this does. So we can go Javelinier, Frostbite next turn as long as it's only a two drop. Okay, there we go. And then we'll have this to back it up. So we go here, shoot you, we throw you, and we attack. I have got to hit a land soon. Luckily, we have another turn where we don't need a land. But I mean, want land. Want at least one more. Ooh, I don't think they can stop. Oh, we don't have the land though, so. Yeah, we're definitely throwing out this one for three. Getting in. <laughs> need to find a land. Need to find a land, land. Our opponent's going to throw a land and what? Uh, chariot? Nothing, huh? Wow, we are going to lose to not finding land. At least we have something to kill whatever they come at us with. Like, I'm sure that it's going to have a four to If it's bigger than a four, I guess we kill it after combat. Goldspan Dragon. Okay. There's this. I feel like they're going to have the protection spell, but let's find out. Uh, they've got it. Unless it's an instant red spell. Do you have Snakeskin Veil? Are you protecting this Goldspan Dragon? There it is. Okay. Well, they didn't attack this turn. They get some more. So we have to... No attacks. Aye, aye, aye. I, maybe I should have gone with the Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Mm, and then I could have swung with everything. Showdown. Scalds coming down. Dragon's Fire, huh? It's a good strong card. There it goes. I knew that was happening. Ranger class coming down. Creating a wolf. Okay. Well, let's throw the Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. And... Attack with everything. I get more... I get 1-1s one that become 2-2s, two so that's fine. If they block with this, it dies. Otherwise, we get in. That's going to kill that. That's going to kill that. Get me some tokens. So I didn't really lose anything. And they have to throw a creature to make it big before they do other stuff. I don't know. We're not in a good position, but we're not out yet. They're going to dump their whole hand. Okay, they counter on there. I mean, they can be making that bigger and bigger. It kills whatever we attack with anyway. Here comes a Magda. They're almost out of land or cards in hand. That's good. They're gonna power this up, and then if they swing with this, we are happy with that. Another land, eh? Let's go ahead and do that. So they can block this and do too much damage or hassle. So I'd rather just take that out and then attack with everything. And once again, they're gonna take four. Yep. And then I, I might have lost. <laughs> I think we might be out of gas. Mammoth coming down. I think if as long as I hit the give everything haste creature off the top, I might have. I might be okay. The battle, there it is. So, hold on. So I, I mean, I throw this, and I pump it. That's gonna be. I don't. I, I have to pump it to get to, it to attack. So that means I won't be able to do it again. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. They'll block all of those, but then they'll take three plus the one is four. And if that's a land in their hand, 6, 7 from this, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then 17, 18, 19, 20. So they win if they hit their a land, a land drop, right? But they have to block some of these. I, I, I think I got... Wait. So they block the 4, and they block a 3. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes! Don't have in your hand a removal. That's the only thing you can't have. It's like a shock. Okay. Woo! 
Oh, they were getting big. They were getting big. Karma Plague. Okay, I like it. I mean, that could be positive or negative. We go first with three lands and a three one drops and a Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. I mean, you can't mulligan this hand. This has haste. This doesn't. This uh, creates really awkward situations with a lot of people. Oh, wait. Uh, this one. So we, we want this out, but I think turn one. I think this is better. This is better out of the non-hasters. This would have given us another body, but this creates... Awesome, both of these together are just odd situation creators. So they are blue-green, which means they're not going to have a whole lot of... Ooh, we need... So three, four, and only five next turn. But I feel like I need to get this on board. Because if I throw the... Yeah, let's get you out. Because if I throw the bandit next turn, now we're, we're in the haste mode. I mean, uh, we're into uh, six. I'm sorry, we're into pack tactics mode. So... If they don't go hard right here, and they're probably just going to... Yeah, they're, they're, I feel like they're in trouble. So we go right into our Hobgoblin Pack lore. We're attacking for six, so this has first strike if they were to throw a creature. This does two damage when it dies. Uh, next turn, we can literally put these both out and then have... This game's... I think this game's over. Oh, Snow, I don't like black. No, 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 no. Okay, so now... I'm afraid of this. So they could have a removal... And it's probably going to be this. Let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If they can't remove something, we just win. So I'm not attacking with this just in case we can win right now. They ha they're probably going to remove something right now. Divide by 0. So this is... Yeah, yeah. So now... Three, four is not enough, so we'll do that. Next, next. That doesn't really help them out. So now I throw you out again. But I don't think I want to overextend in case they do have a removal, like a board wipe. Like right now, if they have another black source, they can crippling fear, and then we lose our board. And this doesn't shoot them at all. But we can start attacking for four. Environmental science. So they can't wipe our board with crippling right now, but maybe next turn. So two, four, six, seven, eight. Maybe they don't think we can win. Let's see if they have no, and no black untapped. So we know they're not doing a removal. So we throw this faceless haven just to have it out there. Uh you have haste. So I'll throw you. Next. Next. All attacks, four attacks. So even if they get rid of this, that's what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I think that's just game. Let's find out. Yes! I love it. This deck's amazing. Good game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for 2022 Mono Red Goblins. I hope you really enjoyed this. If you do, please let us know in the comments down below. Smash that like button. Uh, the only real changes to the deck I would do is maybe remove these two Trash Masters. And that's because the two Trash Masters, in my opinion, are the flex spot. There's not a whole lot of times where I get to four mana. If I do get to four mana, usually I'm throwing a Battlecry Goblin and activating it. Or I'm throwing a different Goblin from um, our two drops or lower. And then activating this so it has haste and or is pumping everything. Uh, you know, I just didn't... I never actually won a game where I actually throw it on the battlefield. We played a decent amount of games. So I think I would replace that with probably one more of the Frostbites. And then either one more Thundering Rebuke or one more 10th Street Cadet. Just depending on what the meta needed at the time. But like I said, I'm going to leave it like this with the Trash Masters in it. Those are your flex spots. So just keep that in mind. In my opinion, the rest of the deck is solid. Those can be flexed depending on what meta you're seeing and what you think that you need to be able to go up against. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check the description down below for all the fun stuff and social media things we're doing. And as always, have a blast in the arena.